Social media has become a popular place for posting lost pets or to find one a new home. But a recent McLean County animal abuse case shows not everyone on those sites could be rightful owners. Eyewitness News Amelia Young with our story tonight. We have our fair share here, you know, of cases coming in. In recent weeks, Davis County Animal Shelter has seen too many animal cruelty cases. Overall, I don't know that it's anything different for the whole year, um, but here in the last four weeks, we've had quite a few, and, um, you know, it's pretty severe cases. Cases like dogs with arrows stuck inside them, others starved. Not only do they take in dogs from their area, but work with McLean County too. On May 21st, McLean County Sheriff's Office says they found seven dogs living in a small camper at Meyer Creek Campgrounds in deplorable conditions. The dogs are a little thin, um, but three of the dogs had um, some leg injuries. The couple involved now facing animal cruelty charges and neglect charges as well. We've had some uh, um, prior involvement here with them and then we've been notified by people that see things that they have posted on Facebook in the in the past. The shelter believes the couple was collecting dogs. And telling people to bring dogs that they find to them instead of bringing them to the shelter so the owners can reclaim them. So Three of the dogs still recovering. One was euthanized for behavioral issues, the rest now in good homes. Except this little guy still at the shelter. So they warn, if you're thinking about selling a pet online, visiting a potential buyer home can clear up a lot of questions. If they rent, you know, make sure you get landlord information if they can have the pet because if they can't have it and they take it, then the next day it's going to be, you know, maybe on the street or, you know, given away to somebody else that you're not going to know where it is and might fall into the wrong hands. Also, ask the potential buyer for a reference list. In McLean County, Amelia Young, Eyewitness News. Also found in the camper, four kids now in custody and an elderly woman who was taken to the hospital. Now, if you would like to donate to the dog's medical funds, you can do that on our website at tristatehomepage.com.